Welcome to episode 962, Glenn Taylor, from poor farmer to printer to richest man in Minnesota. This is an outline of episode 962. At home on a farm, when I lived, when you don't have money, you don't run down to the repair shop <laughs> and say, I want a new part. Uh, we had a, a thing on our farm, and we had old equipment in the uh, grove, and then so you learn to build things when things broke, or fix things probably would be a better word for them to work. That helped me greatly as I moved into business because a lot of the machinery I used in the early days were mechanical machinery, which I was able to modify and fix, and, and, and it made me a lot of money. And Taylor was born as a farm boy in Springfield. Minnesota, 1941. Humphrey has a population of less than 400. He earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Math and Physics from Mankato State University in 1962. His plan A was to become a teacher. His plan B was to start business. Uh, it's kind of, I backed into it. Uh, you're correct. Uh, when I grew up, in a small uh, community and we grew up on a farm, the educated people that you knew in your community were teachers or ministers. Mm -hmm. that, sure. That's pretty much it. So um, of the two, I decided to be a teacher rather <laughs> than a minister. Um, I had chances to teach, good chances to teach. Mm -hmm. But when I talked to uh, my professors, they said, well, uh, Glenn, you can always teach. You have, because of the, the subjects that you have, there's going to be an opening for math teachers and uh, sure. and physics teachers so if you but if you have a chance to go into business you might have just this one chance so during and after college he worked at Carlson Wedding Service a Mankato print shop specializing in formal invitations in 1975 company owner Bill Carlson wanted to retire and Taylor offered to pay two dollars a million over the course of ten years for the company this purchase formed the basis for the Taylor Corporation a private Since then, he has built one of the largest privately held companies in the United States. Today, Taylor Corporation comprises more than 80 subsidiaries and employs more than 12,000 people all over the world. He now has a net worth of $2.5 billion, and at age 79, he is the richest man in Minnesota. In 1995, he bought the NBA team, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Not anything that I anticipated doing. I always thought it was for the rich people <laughs> who would do that, and I wasn't going to do it. What happened is the, uh, the Timberwolves were going to move from Minnesota, and uh, they were going to go to New Orleans or some other place. Mm -hmm. At that time, uh, Governor Carlson was our governor, and I had served in the legislature, so he knew me from that way, and then people knew me as a business person. He asked me to be a, a, the community servant and to go up there and to see if I could help the owners and people who were interested. In 2016, he paid more than $300 million for Standard Register and renamed it Taylor Communication. Liberal may need to strike a different balance. For sure, don't be leaning to the left and don't be leaning to the right, but come down the middle and challenge that, uh, that middle. Uh, that Let's see if we can land there, get legislation that, that will help the greater group of people. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Glenn Taylor, Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.